it's such a such a great great honor and such a wonderful surprise and and I'd like to thank really all of, uh, everybody that's uh, that's responsible for thinking of us to to for that such a great honor. My goodness, see the mayor here, Mr. Fitzgerald, and so many others that uh, it, it it's really. Really very touching. I made 20 tours of Japan. I've been all over the world. I wrestled all over the world. But Japan even inducted me to their Hall of Fame. And I've had some great ones here, like the International Sports Hall of Fame. I, I mean, I was inducted in that. And WWE Hall of Fame and Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. And I'm Italian American Sports Hall of Fame. But when you come here in this neighborhood where, uh, where it all began for me, because when I came from Europe and we settled here, you know, everything happened from here for me, you know. Uh, this is where I started training. This is where I got into not only weightlifting, but wrestling, you know, in the amateurs. And I uh, built myself up. Uh, in my heyday, I was 275. <laughs> and and it, all, it all here in Oakland, you know. And, uh, and so, you know, well, to be honored, any kind of an honor, in this area, right here in South Oakland, where it all began for me, I, it, 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 I think it means to me, I don't want to sound ungrateful for everything else because I'm deeply grateful for everything that's happened in my life. But to happen something here in, in South Oakland, for me, it's, I'm very deeply touched by it. I'm very grateful that they thought me worthy of this honor with these other guys, and I appreciate it very much. For us who, who came from a foreign land, sometimes, uh, and I say this not to offend no one, but I sometimes think that we appreciate it here more than those that were born here for the simple reason that we, we lived a different life over there. And when we come here, uh, for example, when I first came over here and got a little healthy, I had a couple of jobs. I would work uh, landscape gardening before they had the mower stuff, you know, you had a push. And then sometimes construction. And you were very grateful that these jobs were available to you. I was making 50 cents an hour cutting grass and working 10 hours a day on weekends and then in the summertime on my summer vacation. That was a difference. We appreciated those opportunities where kids here maybe had it better off or whatever and I'm not so sure that they understood it like we did. My God, we come to America, we can have a job, two jobs, three jobs, whatever, you know, and that's how we saw America as truly, truly the land of uh, opportunity. And my dad, we ride by, he's, he's passed now. Right by here, and my dad would always say, "Why the hell is Bruno's name not on that sign?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then this pet, right? So he said, Bru "Bruno should be on that sign." And and uh, and then this year, Tucker and I talked about it, and he uh, and, and he said, "Well, we're going to rededicate that sign and put Bruno's name on there because he definitely deserved to be on that sign." Oh, man, and all the stories, yes. <laughs> all the stories my dad used to tell about Bruno when they're growing up and, and the whole thing and the great tradition. Of, families in this neighborhood and, and uh, you know, the hardworking people that have come out of this neighborhood and just good people and, and friends that I've had for life. Well, Danny Marino, his dad and I, we were good friends from the time I came over from Italy. We went to school together, we were good friends. Of course, when he had Danny, I mean, uh, uh, you know, the kid was a good uh, uh, player as a, as a young boy, but who would have ever imagined that he would grow to be what he did, you know, I mean, my God, the great quarterback, a Hall of Famer, and, uh, and, he, and, he, and he's such a nice guy, you know. I mean, his dad was a super, super guy. But then he, the, uh, not that I know him like I knew his dad, but he seems like a guy who's got both feet on the ground, down to earth, and I love that. I, I, I love when somebody uh, is successful, uh, makes it to the top, let's say, but yet he remains humble, you know. We were just regular kids over here. We, we didn't come from wealth. You know, we, none of us hardly had anything. My, my poor dad worked in the steel mills and he was trying to help family in Europe, you know, his, 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 his brothers and sisters and that. So we never had nothing and we appreciated the, uh, the, the fact that over here in Oakland, uh, we had the opportunities to, to, to work and then to, to find your way. In, 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 like in Marino, football with me was weightlifting and wrestling. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, 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 we, we sought those opportunities that were over here. We took advantage of them. And, and I don't know if it's any different from any other person who succeeded in else, you know, elsewhere. But Oakland, uh, to me, Oakland was always very special and always will be very special.